Hi, my name is Michelle Gannon and I am the co-founder and president of Mary's Place by the Sea. My name is Michelle Gannon and I am the co-founder and president of Mary's Place by the Sea, which is a respite home for women who are in treatment for cancer or up to one year post-treatment. Tell us a little bit about why you started this mission and how this all came about. It came out with a simple need to provide a place for women to go when they were in need, when they were sick and a place where they didn't have to worry about everything that surrounds them, their responsibilities, day-to-day, -day, uh, laundry, dishes, children, husbands, uh, anyone in their life, and yet throw in cancer. So we wanted to provide a place where women could go to catch a breath, take a moment to really take a perspective and say, what's going on with my body and how am I going to heal? It is run by over a hundred volunteers and a staff of five and we run it like a bed and breakfast but for women who are in treatment and then we throw in a lot of holistic services such as oncology massage, Reiki therapy, guided meditation, we have journaling, we have uh, prayer and we also um, have counseling one-on-one -on -one, but most of all we have love. It's amazing because I can't wait to get there each and every day. Um, it's now six years, over 5,000 women. And to be with women who are the most courageous women I've ever met, to sit with them, and most of them at their most vulnerable point in their life, it's life-changing. Mm -hmm. And then it encourages me and inspires me to work with a team because I certainly can't do it alone. Uh, and we go downstairs where our basement is and we put our heads together and we just build this business. And it just came together with passion and with a motivation to really make an impact on a complete stranger's life um, who needed it most. We are embracing the future, and I'm so glad that you're saying that because what we have found Mary's Place to be, and now mind you, when we first started, we didn't know if it would make a difference. We didn't know if anyone would show up or if they would find that it would really make a difference in their journey with cancer. And we have found that we're touching on the emotional side, that we're complementing through integrative uh, practices, that we're complementing the medical treatment, and doctors are partnering up with us. So we had someone come in one time and they said, you know, you what you are, you are the prototype for what healthcare needs to be for the future. And that's how we are embracing the future, is we are bringing in the emotional side and really looking at the whole person, not their scans, not what the diagnosis is, but the entire person to help them gain peace, uh, whatever their road may be. You know what is so amazing and really was eye-opening to us, as, as technologically advanced as our society is becoming, this is such a simple step back into just touching people at the human level and really getting in on the emotional raw level and helping them process how did this disease come in, what manifested it, and what am I going to do to get rid of it. Who or what inspires you? I would say on um, a basic level, it's the women in the house every day who are diagnosed with cancer. And then secondly, the team I work with because they have linked arms with me and said, let's make this work. And then third, I would say globally, it's um, I always go back to the teachings of Mother Teresa because she was one of the most humble people I've ever studied and uh, really how she moved through the world and just didn't judge anyone for who they were or what their situation was, but she just loved them purely. And that's what we're trying to do at Mary's Place by the Sea. Congratulations and well deserved and we're thrilled to have you this year. Thank you for giving us that one day of being really like, wow, we did something amazing. So thank you, I appreciate it.